What's going on, everybody? Terrell Friday here with Future DDS. And on this installment of the DSC series, we have Ms. Haley Galkenau from Southern Illinois University School of Dental Medicine joining us. How you doing, Haley? I'm well. How are you? Doing well, doing well. You know, maintaining through all this COVID stuff we got going on. So <laughs> <laughs> just holding up, you know. So um, how's everything with you guys with the whole COVID pandemic? How are you guys kind of handling it? Well, they're kind of taking it uh, differently depending on what year you're in. Um, I'm going to be a D2. So right now they're just trying to figure out how we're going to make up our labs that we missed um, when they had to cancel the rest of the spring semester and how we're going to continue on in our summer classes as well. Got you, got you. Okay, so, you know, again, just want to say thank you for, for taking some time out, you know, through the mix of every, everything that's going on and speaking with us and kind of letting us get a view into your experience uh, at SIU so far. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. So if you could just give everybody out there a brief summary um, about your dental school journey, where you're from. Uh, you say you're going into your second year, but uh, just like we went to undergrad, um, also what you majored in and if you took any time in between undergrad and your dental program. Okay, so um, I'm from Rockford, Illinois. Um, I got my associates there. Um, I got my associates in science. Um, I didn't really have any particular major for that degree. Um, but then I transferred to SIU Edwardsville's main campus where I majored in biology and in um, studio art as well. I didn't take any time off in between um, undergrad and dental school either. Okay, okay. So you were you were the lucky one to go straight through. That's that's perfect. I kind of wish I was in that situation now, but you know we all get to the finish line, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Different paths, but same victory for sure. Of course, of course. So you know all of the pre dents out there, I'm sure, are dying to to know what is your number one tip uh, for doing well on the DAT. What was your number one tip or resource that you used? Um, I'd say my number one tip is to just be self-disciplined. You know, there's not really going to be anyone telling you that you need to study or giving you like assignments to stay on track. You know, it's a really self-reliant process that you have to know your strengths and your weaknesses, you know, and kind of really be real with you yourself to say, I mean, I'm not really that good at organic chemistry and I need some time to struggle with it so right. I can learn it on my own. But right. um, I personally use the Kaplan online course just because it did kind of give me a schedule um, for me to kind of stay on track on the certain subjects I needed. Mm -hmm. But then I did go off and I um, studied more of the subjects that I needed more work on. Gotcha. And you, you said you use Kaplan more so just for the schedule or did you use the blue book for the questions as well? Or um, The online course used the blue book, but okay. I, I had the opportunity of just buying the blue book, but I chose to do the online course just gotcha. because I think I really needed that schedule. You know, I, I want to say I'm completely self-disciplined myself, but it was just nice having something that I needed to sit down at a certain time. And there is an instructor. So in case you are okay. completely hung up on a certain subject, there like it's kind of like a Zoom chat. You know, there's there's an open um like you can directly ask them your questions or they give them your email and stuff like that. So it was really helpful for me in that aspect. Gotcha, you, gotcha. You. Okay. So um specifically for SIU, you know, some people for sure know they want to go to SIU, know what DAT score to need and everything. Um, are there any type of pre-dental, um, you know, enrichment programs or any type of feeder programs that SIU has for prospective students? Yeah, um, I actually got the opportunity to be elected um, SIU's as the chapter's pre-dental chair. Nice. So um, I'm going to be helping um, plan a pre-dental day or an impressions day for people to come to the dental school, see what it's like to be an SIU SDM student, and see what the school has to offer. Um, just because of COVID, we don't have the exact date yet, mm -hmm. but um, if 
uh, you guys are interested in coming to it at all, um, I can list my um, email or my Instagram that you guys can get a hold of me there. Uh, make sure you guys tap in with with Haley and make sure you guys tap into that network and, and that opportunity because it, you know the impressions days and, and those original days are definitely important. Um, mm -hmm. but again, congrats on uh, getting the opportunity, you know, and getting elected to that position. Thank you so much. No, no problem, no problem. So. Um, for SIU, um, it seems like you kind of knew you wanted to stay in Illinois and knock everything out uh, there, but do you know exactly, do you remember how many schools you applied to when you were going through your application process? I actually just applied to the one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Which is <laughs> a really, really good, you, okay. <laughs> kind of odd, I, I don't know that I would recommend anyone else doing that, but um, I don't know, I just, I really saw myself going to the school Unlike a lot of other schools, it's in a rural area. I've never taken a city bus before or gotten a taxi by myself, so there's no way that I was gonna move to Chicago and be able to adjust to a 30 credit hour semester at the same time. Like I just knew like, like that was not gonna work out for me. I was not gonna be successful in those environments, but. Yeah, <laughs> uh, to the one school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know where you're comfortable, so you know. Luckily, it worked out for you, and, and you're there now. Um, if you could, you know, if you could tell us how your interview process was, how was the how the interview uh, at SIU was, take kind of take us through that day. Yeah, um, it was actually a really enjoyable interview. Um, everything about it was really laid back. Mm -hmm. So you could really show your personality without feeling you're on, like you're on the spotlight or anything like that. It felt right. really natural. Mm -hmm. um, so you're in a group of either six or 12. And um, like half of you will go um, to the interviews first and half of you will take a tour first. Gotcha. Um, I took, oh wait, no, it's half of them go to the interview and then half of them, yeah, okay, half of them interview, half of them tours. So they split you up so you are in smaller groups, mm -hmm. which is nice because you get to know each other a little bit more. Um, I went on my tour first um, and then they do a lunch with you um, where you actually, there's um, a D1, a D2, a D3, and a D4, all current students there. So you can ask them your questions, which I thought was really, really interesting. I didn't know that that was um, even a part of some interviews, you know, because yeah. you can ask the professor some questions, but getting a perspective from a student is completely different, you know? So it was really nice just to get those questions out of the way you know, and see how the students felt from the school. Um, so I thought that was really amazing. Um, and then let's see, we answered some prompts. There's two prompts, two to three prompts that you have to answer. Mm -hmm. There's no right or wrong question. They just kind of want to see what your thought process is on it. And this is just um, you talking to a couple faculty members at one time, or are you going like bouncing back and forth? Like I was this was actually on a tablet before you got to speak with faculty okay. so it was kind of like they sat us all in a room and put us with a tablet you know some like they don't want you know a whole novel you know that's what they told us they just want to see what our feelings are for the subject matter and um it's kind of what we what we thought of it right um and then after we did the, the faculty interviews, there's three of those, and then there were about 15 minutes each. Okay, so it's not too bad. So you get kind of a feel for different faculty member perspectives, and, um, and you guys are like bouncing, I guess, MMI style, like multiple mini interviews where you're able to kind of talk to different, different people and get different prompts in each room, or how is it? Yeah, um, I don't know. Like, I got different questions for every um, professor that I talked to, and everyone in my class that I talked to, like, every single professor was different, you know? Okay. So it's not even just admissions council is the only one asking you questions. It's actual faculty. Like, my microbiology professor asked me my interview questions, and then I show up the first day, and she's one of my didactic professors, you know? So it's not just, like, 
the dentists or the clinical professors or anything like that. So it's it's really nice to to meet kind of all aspects of the faculty in that way. Gotcha. Okay. So you know, after you you know you finish up your interview, you you go home. You're hoping you get in. You finally get that acceptance. Now, um, you know, you show up to campus. How was that first year? That transition period. Um, how was the curriculum laid out and everything? How are you guys intro into clinic? So the transition was, I thought it was honestly going to be harder just because I went from going from, I think it was 18 credit hours my last semester to finish up everything. And I thought that was impossible in undergrad, you know, like 18 credit (laughs) hours is crazy, unheard of. And then you go to dental school and my first semester was, I think like 32 credit hours. You know, but honestly, it honestly wasn't that bad. Um, I think it's mainly because the whole entire class at SIU, the class size is 50 people, but the whole entire class is going through like the same classes at the same times, the same exams at the same times, you know, the same projects. So you really do have everyone to kind of work with, you know, it's not like undergrad where everyone has like a different schedule and you're kind of on your own. So it's really nice when you build a nice group of um, of colleagues, you know, and you can just really work together and see what each other's, like how each other are studying and what they're using and stuff like that. No, that support system is definitely um, needed, you know, going through this this process. It can, it can be rough going through by yourself. So how was the, uh, how was the curriculum laid out there? You guys start... Um, like integrated style classes? Are you guys doing block style classes? And do you guys start, um, you know, actual dental classes right up, like right out, off the gate or how is it? So I'd honestly say um, a lot of the classes we had were didactics, but we had at least two lab um, classes as well. Gotcha. Um, the lab classes were twice as long and um, we are practicing all in the sim lab lab right now um so right now like the first um semester we had operative and we had morphology and then we switched over to occlusion and um, fixed prosthodontics and now we're back in operative again this summer but um that was all in sim lab, but we did also get, um, we had like a clinical course where um, we went into the clinic and we assisted third and fourth years, you know, so it was really nice kind of getting a feel for that process, you know, how the student dentists are processing their patients, you know, how they're they're the ones calling them for their appointments they're the ones setting up all of their appointments they're the one getting all their supplies and stuff like that it's just something that you're not gonna realize until you're in the clinic you know but it's really nice having seen it before being exposed to that also part of the um, clinical course was us going to elementary schools and doing um profi exams which is really really awesome because Um, we actually go to, um, like an underserved area. So it's not only amazing getting to work with that demographic, but it's also amazing to get your hands on, you know, work with kids, you know, I think is one of the, like the more rewarding, you know, um, Mm -hmm. type of patients, but yeah, it's really awesome. Without a doubt. Definitely that hands-on experience, especially first year early is is key. It's crucial. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, so last few questions here as we start to wrap up, um, and this one is going to be kind of interesting. You know, you only have your one uh, dental school experience, but what is something that you feel has been unique to your experience at SIU? Um, I'd say definitely the small class size and the larger faculty ratio. Okay. Um, so each class is maximum of fifty. Um, so I, I'm not including our international students as well. They're kind of in their own separate program. But um, like traditional, the traditional class is 50 students. However, like we have a normal faculty ratio. 
you know, so when we do need like extra help, you know, in, in sim lab or in the clinic, it's just that much more accessible for us to get that help. You know, it's, we're creating, we're able to create um, like stronger relationships and really get to know our professors on a personal level. You know, that way when we graduate dental school, we're colleagues rather than students still. You know, I think that's something really, really unique to SIU that it's kind of like quality over quantity there. You know, it's it's less amounts of students, but your education and the opportunities you get are still the same as um, a regular size dental school. For sure, for sure. Okay, so and and the last question now, as we as we start to wrap up, is uh, if you could go back in time and tell the younger version of yourself while you were still hungry applying to dental school, um, if you could give yourself one word of advice, uh, what would that advice be? Um, one word of advice? You know, it's a, any, any advice that you would give yourself, you know, looking okay. back on throughout the process, like now that you're here, you've made it, you know, you're heading into second year, what would, what would the advice to the young version of yourself be? I think it would definitely be to um, accept my best as it is. Um, I know, especially in undergrad, you know, just the uncertainty of getting into dental school, I always felt like my best wasn't good enough, you know, so I never really celebrated the victories that I had, you know, I never really, like, appreciated the hard work or anything like that, so I just found myself, like, often just really discouraged, you know, and just confused about the whole process, you know, so it's, I think it's amazing, like, um, like what you guys do is create an outlet for pre with dental students. That way they can become more sure of the process and then become more sure of themselves of what they need to do, you know? So I, I think it's just appreciate your victories and appreciate the hard work that you're doing. Man, couldn't say it any better myself. Definitely uh, want to say thank you for, you know, you know, saying that, you know, we are, we are having some impact. That's what we're here for. So it is, it does feel good to, to, to hear that, you know, thank you again. Um, I think that's going to wrap it up for the, for the interview though. And I, I just want to say, you know, we appreciate you taking some time out again, Haley, for, you know, speaking to the pre dance out there, all the viewers out there who are interested in SIU. Um, if anyone out there has any questions for you or wants to contact you and kind of pick your brain a little bit more, how could they best get in touch with you? Um, I am on my Instagram quite a bit and I get a lot of messages from pre -dents and I love interacting with you guys and messaging back and stuff like that. So, um, that is going to be my last name, G-O-U-C-H-E-N-O-U-R, and then my first name, H-A-L-E-Y. Gotcha. Okay. So we'll make sure we put that down in the description box. So anybody who has any questions for you can reach out directly. Um, but again, yeah, on behalf of myself, you know, future DDS, Tyler, uh, and all the viewers out there, we just want to say thank you. Uh, this is some great information that you provided to us, and, and this was a, a fun conversation. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for, for having me on here and allowing me to share some stuff about myself and my school. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, for everybody else out there, uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification notification bell so you know whenever we post up new content. If you haven't already, go over follow Haley, hit you know hit her up, ask her any questions that you might have. Um, that's going to be it for the interview. Uh, see you guys next time.